caution, it is highly recommended that any changes to this area be made before starting regular use of the live program. Changes made later will affect the accuracy of your reports. Income accounts are the general ledger account numbers where revenue from labor, parts, sublet, shop supplies, hazardous materials, and any others created are grouped by business segment and or tax setting for accounting purposes. Each of these accounts can be assigned a unique GL code to split out the dollars in meaningful ways. When the revenue by GL code report is run, it provides a breakdown of the dollars collected for a day, a week, a month, a year, or any date range in between. Many shops run this report on a daily basis. While it is possible to add new GL codes at any time, consider any changes very carefully. Depending on how this is implemented, the accuracy of the reporting process can be impacted. While we're here, this is a good time to review the payment types. These entries appear in the drop-down list in the Apply Payments window. The program comes with a fairly standard set that you can modify at any time. If you do not see the entry you need, click on Add and create it as needed. Give it a name and determine whether it should be counted as cash, check, or credit card. Then apply a common or unique GL code depending on your particular situation. Payment types are the various forms of payment presented by a customer to pay their bill. This is where you would add a credit card, debit card, or other new payment type. You may add, edit, delete these codes and descriptions with some caution. Cash refers to any payment by cash, credit card, check, etc. In other words, this is any payment to an order balance other than a charge to a customer's in-house credit account. These values are used within numerous accounting reports in this program.